It's a pleasure to have you over Thank at Marshalls and uh, friends we welcome architect Amol Prabhu and would like to know more about you sir. So well, um, I, um, uh, architecture is not new to us. Uh, my father started this company in 67. So we have been in uh, this business since past 45 years. Yeah. Um, our, one of our first major projects was one Kade Stadium renovation. Uh, we, uh, the, uh, not renovation but construction. We uh, constructed that in 1973 and um, ever since uh, we have been in Mumbai, our home has been one Kade Stadium, our office is there and uh, slowly and steadily we have been growing. Um, our uh, big uh, focus had been sports, healthcare and uh, institutional projects and uh, that is where we started, uh, you know, uh, creating projects which uh, made impact to general people uh, where a um, lot of people were able to uh, use it, utilize it, may it be hospital, may it be a sports venture or so, you know. Um, Lilavati Hospital was uh, one of our projects and we started getting into institutional projects. We, for the past seven years, we have been focusing into integrating our architecture and interior line because our experience is that we used to create projects which were architecture, uh, we used to focus on architecture, the exterior architecture I should say, but uh, we really never focused on the interior part where people used to come, they used to finish off the interior spaces and end of the day we started realizing that clients are expecting us to give a um, complete solution similar to what you are thinking right now in your field. Uh, so the client started telling us that, you know, why don't you focus on giving us a complete solution rather than uh, just uh, the architecture and that's when we started about seven or eight years ago to start really focusing on giving complete solution to our clients which is uh, exterior architecture, interior architecture, maybe landscape and all those things put all together so that the project is all complete. So when we are ha able to hand over the project to the client, the client says, okay, this is it, I don't need to worry about anything more than this. My background is um, I have spent most of my life in America. I, I, I went to, U, uh, to America in 1992 and um, my uh, entire life I have worked with uh, leading uh, construction management and uh, design companies. Um, 2005 we decided to come back uh, after about 14 or 15 years. And um, it was a good opportunity f for us to come back because India was growing, India, a lot of new things were happening. And um, since 2005, I have been here um, with uh, Shashi Prabhu and Associates now. Uh, so it's almost been seven years, good years, and uh, we're doing a lot, lot of interesting things. And uh, yeah. Taking the legacy forward. Um, yeah, I mean, it's a very difficult thing to, I mean, my father has created a legacy and that's very difficult to match, but I think uh, we have to do, you know, we have to work hard and we have to make sure that we are able to keep up with what we have done in the past and do better projects and obviously. I think, sir, you're already doing that because inheriting something is always more challenging because right. you have to live up to it and right. progress. There are a lot of expectations and you know there are a lot of things and clients have become very demanding now so they it's it's always good when the clients are demanding because they force us to do better and yes. uh, that's one of the reasons I mean uh, where we are today is uh, hugely because of what our clients demand from us and in fact they have been our best friends and guides as to where we should go and how we should work so it has been good. So which has been your most memorable project so far? Uh, I mean my life um, in uh, uh, Indian work world is very short. I've been here only for seven years. Uh, but uh, I think we have done some very uh, challenging uh, work for um, uh, the um, uh, you know, couple of projects that I can think of. First one is uh, the National SNSCI. We are, we are building a stadium for them yes. right now. And uh, hopefully it's in the final stages. And that project has been quite a challenging and creative project for us uh, because A, it makes a huge impact on entire Mumbai city. It's, it's right on, you know, Ali. Well, so uh, lakhs of people are seeing it every day. So there is a lot of expectation from a lot of people. Uh, so obviously we cannot go wrong in whatever we do. And uh, another project that has uh, been very, very uh, interesting and challenging is uh, the cricket center. 
uh, it's a hub of cricket today which is head office of BCCI, head office of IPL, head office of MCA, uh, it's a cricket hub. Uh, so that has been a fun project for us to work on. Uh, which uh, actually interestingly uh, BCCI was one of the first projects where we took on uh, mm, creative interior design and integrating it with the building. Uh, so, uh, until then we were doing interior but never at a you know, highly professional level and that is a project where we decided that our projects have to integrate because end of the day the end user looks and feels at the interior and uh, the, yeah, the architecture, exterior architecture is uh, left in a book sort of, uh, so to say. Uh, so we have to focus and make sure that we are able to give them um, a project which is well conceived and put together in all senses uh, and integrated between architecture and interiors. Yeah, I think that is very clearly visible in the MCA, you know, where the colonial as well as right. the modern interiors and True. architecture go hand and in hand. Funnily, uh, we have had three clients over there. I mean, it may be one building, it may be one body, but we have had three clients. We have had uh, the Mumbai Cricket Association, which is uh, age old body and uh, been in Mumbai for a long time. You have BCCI, which is a powerhouse and sort of a mother or a father to the cricket of the world right now, so to say. And then you have IPL, which is absolutely young and vibrant uh, uh, space. And trying to do up that building has been a three set of mindsets for us. And that's why we have to look at that building in a completely different way, three different clients and three different mindsets. Right. So, yeah. And an indoor uh, stadium and a temperature controlled one, it's first of a kind. That's, that was very interesting. We have done a project at BKC for uh, MCA again and uh, that is technology wise, that is probably one of the best projects we have ever done. It's an indoor cricket academy and it's one of its kind in, in India. Uh, it allows uh, the cricketers and actually it has been frequently visited by the Indian cricket team and um, it's the only space where the cricketers can practice in the environment that they intend to uh, use. For example, if they are going to London for, for let's say, then there is a provision to set the temperature and the humidity uh, of that space and play in that environment just before they go. So it's a good practice uh, for, for the cricket team. Uh, you can set any temperature anywhere in the world uh, and the cricket team is practicing over there every yeah, day. It's, it's such a huge yeah. uh, so thing to have. And like thank here. you very much because you have been part of our team to finish these spaces, many of these. So yeah, we, we really appreciate your... So it's our pleasure and uh, so what would be your dream project? You know, uh, All projects are our dream projects because uh, you, the, the satisfaction that you get after completing them. Right now we are, I mean one of the more difficult projects we are doing is the uh, upgrading the municipal head office. I mean municipal head office, nobody wants to think of that space as a, um, uh, as a, as a, as a project that uh, one needs to focus on. But uh, what's happening is one, one, one lakh people are every day on a daily basis they are working in that office and that is the heart of Mumbai city. Um, it's the headquarters of MCG and BMC and BT and we have the task of um, renovating that space okay. right now. Uh, so our in job, a working condition? In a absolutely working condition. Uh, not a single space. Um, we cannot close the office for one day. We have to work all around the people and uh, the work happens throughout the day, throughout the night and we have to work around those people and make sure that we are able to and our job is not just to do the interior fit out but also to increase the working efficiency of those people. So we have to um, we have to organize them, we have to uh, we have to um, uh, sort of replan their uh, entire working offices uh, so that their working times, their travel times, their, their working efficiency is increased and yet give them an aesthetically beautiful building uh, where everybody is able to work efficiently after uh, completion. So that's a very challenging project we're doing right now. Great sir, it's an honor having you Thank and you learning much. so much about you. Thank you so much for having us, uh, having me. Please. Pleasure sir.